Hello everyone and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing today? I hope all is well. Well, today's recipe, um, I am doing a fireball and cinnamon. Yes, I love my fireball. I am doing a fireball and cinnamon barbecue chicken wings. And um, I have some seasons that I had in here for a little minute. For maybe about a month or two that I had stored that I used on something else and I forgot what's all in here but it's a mixture of everything so in case I run out I have some more seasons over here to my left and I will call them out as needed so I'm getting ready to season this chicken it's been clean it has been washed and it's been patted dry I don't know if I pat it but let me pat it and make sure let me do it again just to make sure Cause I'm getting ready to put some great seed oil over my chicken. Then I'm gonna set it in the refrigerator and let all these flavors marinate. And then after an hour or two, I'll come back. Perfectly an hour, I'll come back and get ready and bake my chicken for my barbecue okay so I'm just gonna take this season that I have here in this container and I know it has paprika in here I know it has um, parsley flakes it has some of everything in here I forgot oh what I mixed in it I need to start writing it down I can smell the paprika. And I might have used brown sugar in here because it's kind of dark. But I had this for some other kind of meat. But it's going to be good with this. I should have had more than that because um so I'm gonna shake on a little chicken chicken powder I mean chicken seasoning and this here is my little dollars um general brand of my chicken seasoning so I'm just gonna shake that on Okay, I'll put this back as needed. So I'm gonna need that. Then I have my soul food seasoning, and I'm get ready and shake some of that on. So my soul food seasoning. Okay, my onion powder. Onion powder. And I'm just putting a little bit in on, on each black pepper. Garlic powder. I have my parsley flakes, which I had some parsley flakes in the um fill this back up so I'll leave that out okay then I have a little bit of my chicken I gotta get another mang of this mm. my chicken um polo I'm pretty sure I got a little bit of that in there okay Poetry chicken seasoning. I'm gonna shake a little bit of that on them. And that's gonna be that, followed by the uh, red paprika. I know I got some of that in there. So, I'm not gonna do any kosher salt because I don't wanna get too salty. And just a little bit of my, um, no, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you. 
So we're gonna have barbecue chickens on the menu today, fireball and whiskey, fireball and cinnamon barbecue chicken, and we're having along with that, we're having some barbecue um, corn on the cob, and this is some fresh corn on the cob that I just um, took the hulls off and everything. So um, we're gonna barbecue that and some baked beans. So everything today is going in the oven. Okay, so I am going to put a some aluminum foil over that and set it in the refrigerator. Then we're going to take our corn on the cob and we're going to season that. So let me set this in the refrigerator and then I get this in front of you and we're going to season that as well. Okay, so for this, we're going to be using grapeseed oil again, and we're going to be using a little black pepper. And I'm going to set that in the refrigerator, and I'm going to let that sit. So I'm going to take a little oil and just sprinkle over my corn. And I'm using grapeseed oil. That's what I have on hand. So if you have like olive oil or whatever kind of oil you have, use it. It doesn't matter. And every time I'm getting the hairs off the corn because these, when you're doing fresh corn, you're not going to get all the hairs off. You need a magnifying glass to go up under that because sometimes you can't see those hairs. And if it's not, if it's not sticking up to where you can see it and pull it out, or if it's laying down between the corn, you're not going to see it. Just to show us boo boo stink, you're not gonna be able to see it. So, okay. To that, I'm gonna add in some kosher salt. Okay, I'm gonna do a little black pepper. Okay, then I'm just gonna toss these corns, rub the little salt and pepper together. And I put the olive oil on them so that the salt and pepper can stick to my corn. Okay, then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna stick these in the oven. I mean, I'm gonna stick these in the refrigerator um, along with the. Um, the chicken that I just seasoned and when the chicken's ready these are going to be ready so then we're going to come back and we're going to put these in the oven I'll probably wrap some bacon around some of them and then brush it with some barbecue sauce with my fried ball and um, whiskey barbecue sauce oh yes 
This is gonna be good. Y'all ain't never had barbecue corn on the cob. Today you're in for a treat because I'm gonna show you how to do it. And this don't have to be done with fresh corn. You can do it with um I done did it with fresh corn like I'm doing it today. And I done did it with store-bought corn. And that store-bought corn that burrs out, that sweet, that real sweet corn. Oh my gosh, that's the best to do it with. I didn't have any frozen corn. I had fresh, so I'm gonna use what I got. I just put the aluminum foil back in her pantry and I need it. So, I'm gonna cover this up right quick. And it is 3 55 p.m. So I'll be back probably at 4 30, 5 o'clock. Probably 4 30, 5 o'clock. I don't know, one of them. And get my dinner done. Get my dinner on so we won't be eating dinner late tonight. Because now that I'm on vacation, I've just been cooking when I feel like it. Last night we was like after seven eating. And if y'all ain't seen that video that I did last night, the um smothering gravy, the um meatball smothering gravy. Oh my god, it was so good. Everybody just loved it. Ain't nothing left. I'm telling you. It was good. And I thought I was fixing too much. But we don't have any left. Uh, my kids see me taking this, the meatballs out. They thought I was going to do some um, Parmesan um, meatball subs. I said, no, tonight we having smothered meatballs. And they ate them up. With the rice and the string beans. And the Hawaiian sweet rolls. Yes, let me put this in the refrigerator. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys back here a little later on. And we're going to get this dinner started when I come back. See you guys later. Hello, 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 hello everybody. I'm back. Eyes back. And we finna get started with this video. Right in front of you, you see everything that I have. That I'm finna get ready and make some barbecue sauce. Yes, I am. Everything today is going in the oven. That's the way I like it. Because that way, I ain't got to do jack. I just got to put it in there, fix it up and put it in there real quick. So today's menu, once again, we're doing fireball and cinnamon drumsticks, chicken drumsticks. We're doing barbecue, um, corn on the cob, and we're going to have some baked beans. So over here, let me tell you what you're going to need. Let me drink some of this right quick. Hold on, let me get my straw. Let me get my straw. Now let me drink some right quick. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, over here. Let me take one more sip. Shit, that shit good. Ooh. Okay, for my barbecue sauce, you will need some honey. You will need onion powder. You don't need this um saison. I was took that down trying to get to something else. But you're gonna need some onion powder. You're gonna need some garlic powder. I ain't taking my garlic powder down. That would okay. So we have our onion powder here. We have our garlic powder. Ah oh, man. Now I promise you I'm coming from. Okay, um, I got a little bit of oil in here. Let me turn it upside down. I mean a little bit um honey. So we're gonna need some honey. We got onion powder, garlic powder. You're gonna need some hot sauce, kosher salt, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, paprika, brown sugar, and of course the star of the show. Fireball cinnamon whiskey. Okay, so we making our own. So let's get started with making it. And I got my little spoon in here so I can, um, stir it up. So we're going to use a half a cup of brown sugar. Of brown sugar. A little brown sugar. Okay. 
Okay. Next, we're going to use a half a cup and a whole cup of um, ketchup. So, I'm going to fill this up to a half. I'm going to fill this up to a whole. Uh-oh. Something flying around up in here. Honey, every time y'all not gonna uh, open up the damn door, something be coming in. Can't stand them little damn nets, and you can't see the little motherfuckers unless they flying right in front of your motherfucking ass. Okay, let's try to find my other bottle of ketchup. Because I hate all opening stuff and some already open in the refrigerator. That is my, here it is right here. See, and I had many grabbed it and I know it was another bottle in there. My kids is good for doing that. So, I have one and a half cups of ketchup. Tell y'all I was on vacation. I'm on vacation and I'm loving it. Ain't doing jack, but home chilling, doing me. Okay, now next to that, we're gonna need one and a half cups. Oh, you got it, honey. So, this is my half a cup. Now we didn't need one and a half cups of honey. I'm finna get around already. Okay, we need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. If it fall down in there, that's all right. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. We need one tablespoon of hot sauce. Any kind of hot sauce you got. Whatever it is that you got in your pantry, you're gonna need it. Whatever kind of hot sauce you use. Okay, we gonna use one cup, not a half a cup, one cup of brown cinnamon, fireball cinnamon liquor. One cup, yes. Let me put that back there. Okay, so, um, Put a little kosher salt in here because we got to season the sauce. We're going to put a little black pepper in here. We're going to put a little onion powder. we put a little um, garlic powder. And we're gonna put some garlic. Now, I'm gonna go ahead because I was gonna get the um. I'm gonna take this and let's just push this back over here. Move this over to the side, and I'm gonna take two fresh garlic cloves. Yes, I am. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give this a good chop because we're gonna um. We're gonna put two fresh garlic cloves in here.
Okay, now I'm trying to chop this fine. Now, we're going to put some vinegar in here. And I forgot to get that. When you're making barbecue sauce, you do not have to put vinegar. I mean, um, garlic powder. I mean, damn. You ain't got to put no damn garlic in it. Check. Um, um, you don't have to use that. Because that is optional. I'm using, and I'm doing one tablespoon of garlic. I mean, of um, apple cider vinegar. And we're going to stir this. You're going to get your son's birthday tomorrow, don't you? Huh? You're going to get your son's birthday tomorrow, don't you? Mm-hmm. What's you going to get him? Uh, some money. How much you going to get him? Uh, I don't know. I ain't getting no shit. He ain't getting no nothing. What that is, water? What? What that is? Water, yeah, that's some water. You you gonna have some? No, I don't want my father's barking on you. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna take my bath, man. That's water. That's some cold water. Hey, I have some. Yeah, you can have some. Yeah, dang, I ain't seen you drink it on. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I drink water like that. I drink water. <laughs> 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 I see you bought your new skitter. Uh -huh. What did you buy for something? Uh -huh. Where my little um. Alright, I'm just gonna take my shower. Alright. I got to fill my wine back up. Deep Okay, I got to taste this and see how it done. Mmm, mmm. I know I need a little bit more sugar. So I ain't eyeballing this. Okay, now, if you want, you can put a little bit of red pepper flakes in here. I'm not going to do that because if my husband ain't had to eat it, yeah, I'll put the red pepper flakes in. But I'm not going to do it because he got to eat it. And I'll put some red pepper flakes in here and I'll put some cayenne pepper in here. Okay? Now, I say, oh, that's too hot. No, it's not. You got to know how much to put in. Now, we ain't trying to, um... Be burning your mouth so to like every time you eat, you gotta have something to drink behind it. No, we just want a little kick to where you can taste it, but it's not like, oh, that's a good kick. You know what I mean? Like that. Not to where my tongue burning or nobody else's tongue burning. Okay. That's it from body piece. So I'm gonna set this in the refrigerator until I need it because we um but you know what we're gonna use it right now and then we're gonna do it where I can get the barbecue sauce on where I can get the chicken on in. Where I can get the chicken on in. And then I took some um but I'll tell y'all that in a few minutes. So let me bring y'all over here to these pans over here. Because I got this oven on, I got three pans, one for the babies, one for the um One for the corn and one for the chicken. So let me place this chicken down so we can go on and get that. And we gonna oh, we gonna um I'm gonna put some um some chicken some um chicken stock in here.
Okay, and all that little yum 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 right there is going up and up to every bit of it. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be some good. Okay. So that barbecue sauce that I got right here, we're gonna just put it over the chicken. Let me get over where y'all can take a real good look at this right here. So I got my brush and I'm just gonna start putting it over my chicken. And every so often, I'm gonna be checking on my chicken and I'm gonna be basting it with this sauce. Honey barbecue sauce, fireball and cinnamon honey barbecue sauce. Yes. And I'm trying to dredge it on him too. And you know what? The, it's going to get. Now, I like basting my chicken with the barbecue sauce. Some people, everybody cook different. Some people wait until their chicken get done and put a barbecue sauce on. No, 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 no. You want that chick, that barbecue sauce to stick to that chicken, and you want that glaze if you got any honey in it or anything like that. You want that to come shining through. So, for that to come shining through, I like to bake, rub my chicken with barbecue sauce, and then when it's in the oven. Like 20 minutes from now, after I put it in the oven, a good 20 or 30 minutes from now, I'm going I'm to take it out and I'm going to baste it again. I'm going to be basting this chicken until it's done. Then when this chicken get done, you're going to see the glaze popping. The glaze going to be popping off the chicken. And the barbecue sauce. I'll be laying it on thick. It's barbecue, it's barbecue chicken. We want no little thin, little cold of barbecue chicken on you. Like barbecue chicken, somebody give you some barbecue chicken. We have barbecue chicken, you got the little thin cold. Where the sauce? Where the sauce? You got the lid on now. I be laying it on thick. Thick. This barbecue chicken. Oh, we gonna have enough. And if I don't have enough, I'll be making seconds. The legs too. Get them legs too. He needs, you gotta show them some love too. You gotta show our legs some love. Okay. That's enough love. I'll be back on the second. I'll be back with Mo. I got Mo. And I'm going to leave that out. So we're going to put that in the oven right quick. And I'm going to leave it out. Damn, that sauce is good. Wait till you bite in that chip. And I'm going to be leaving that out because, um, we're going to be making some, um, in case I need to make some Mo. So I'm put this on my bottom right. Okay. Now let me turn on this um this eye right here because we finna make some um we finna make some um we finna do the poking beans. So I'm gonna take my poking beans and um Open them up, and I got three cans of poking beans. And we're gonna put them off in the pan, but I'm gonna fry off the meat because I like meat in my poking beans. I don't like no plain poking beans. Now, when I usually do my poking beans, I like. Make it y'all over here, put poking beans where you can see the poking beans right quick. Make sure it's that. 
There's always be some trying to stink. I like meat in my poking beans. In my baked beans, rather. So, it's up to you whether you will, what kind of meat you can put in them. Or you want to do hamburger or, or um, you know, sausage. I'm doing sausage. And I'm doing Italian sausage at that. So that's more flavor, more flavor. Well, I tell you one thing. I tell you. It's going to be finger looking good. This ain't KLC. This is Joanne's Kitchen. And it's going to be finger looking good. You can blanch on that. Now, I don't took out three cans. I said I was going to do three cans. Three cans is going to be enough. But now I'm looking at it. I feel like. Man, I might need four cans. I ain't want to face a whole lot and have a whole lot left over. You know. I might need one more can because my big boys. Hey, my boys can eat. Then my older son. His birthday is tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get him. I'm gonna give me some money. She ain't nobody gonna turn down no money for the birthday. And let him buy what he wants. He'll be 22. 22. Okay, so now let me turn this back on. Let me turn it back on. Okay, so I got me for my um let me fill my 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 drink back up. So waiting on that to get a little hot. I got my um That dang on paper stick to the to the meat. Okay. So I cut up some onions and peppers. 
and I put them, I like to put them in my, um, and my baked beans as well. And I usually do like, um, red peppers too. But y'all, I just stopped at the green and the white today. And I do jalapeno peppers in my baked beans. So you pretty much, you know, you can jazz it this up however you like. Then we're going to do our corn and get that in. Now you can have this real meaty too, cause this um I do have like two packs in here. Sometimes I will put more than one pack in. But today I'm sticking with the one pack. So I want to make sure that this is good and ready and done before I stick it over there into the baked beans, you know. Make sure I ain't seeing no pink and right now I'm still seeing pink. Gotta be done. Forget about my bacon, y'all. So I'm adding my bacon in now. And I had it right here, and I just happened to look over and see my bacon. 
Or else I would have been doing this without my bacon. This on high, so this mama tepper gonna go on and cook. Ain't no need to try to fly out. We need it all. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, right quick, is I'm gonna go and chop up a little bit more, and then I'm gonna get this done. Then we're gonna come back. And I'm going to show y'all the next step so we don't spend all the camera time right here on the baked beans because um, we got a little bit more to go. So you guys, I added some hamburger, some in uh, my bacon in here. I happened to look over and seen that I ain't have my bacon in here. So I had to put my bacon in here, so I just chopped it up in little pieces. So as soon as this bacon get done up in here, We're gonna be pouring this all over into the um into the baked beans. So I'll be right back as soon as we finish this. This get done, okay? So I'm gonna go and let it get brown. I totally forgot about my bacon until I looked over. And seen it and I take a few extra strips and put on the top of the um, baked beans you know how we dress it up okay so I'll see y'all back in a few and we're gonna go to the next step okay y'all this is what it's looking like you guys can see that it's done I'm gonna turn it over this way so you guys can see real good. And then we're gonna get ready and just start making, do, doing our, uh, everything goes in now. The grease and all, it ain't gonna hurt. Okay, so I got my brown sugar going in. That's all my brown sugar. So I got my ketchup going in. I got some mustard going in. And I got a little barbecue sauce going in. Oh, don't worry. Oh, yes. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And that's all right. And ain't taken from the barbecue sauce. Because guess what? I'm going to make more. Okay, so I gotta put my white sugar. I gotta get me some white sugar, y'all. Cause that got to go in. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're just gonna stir. Mm-hmm. And mix it as you stir, as you, um, so all of it can just get crazy and creamy. Ooh, let me turn back around this way.
Okay, now we're going to take our little strips of bacon. And you put how many strips of, well, how many arm strips you want. It don't matter. So I'm putting four strips just like that. So then we're going to put this into a 350 degree oven and I'm going to cook it until my meats get a little brown, okay? Because you already know it's already done. We just need the meat to get brown. So in the 350 degree oven, let go. Oh, you know what? I'm about to lose. I gotta take my um my chicken out. I forgot to put the um the um the chicken broth in, y'all. So we're gonna put a little chicken broth in, and I'm not gonna cover it. I don't like my chicken broth covering my meat. Just right on the sides. Put some on this end. Put some back on this end. And that's it. So now let me put it back in the oven. We're going to get started with the um. We're going to get started with the um. Corn. Show you what we're going to do with that. Okay. So give us that. Here's my corn. A little left chicken stock left, so let me show you what I'm gonna do with that. Now, let me get over here a little bit and put that right there. I'm gonna take this corn here, I'm gonna take this meat right here, and you ain't got to do all your corn like that, and just wrap it around your, your um. We're not going to do all the, the corn like that, okay? And just wrap it around. Take the bacon and just wrap it around your meat. I mean, your um corn. You're going to take the bacon and wrap it around the corn. These little it ain't gotta be perfect. It's gonna it's gonna it's it's gonna be good. However you do it. Okay, we get all that up in there too. Okay, we just gonna brush our barbecue our barbecue sauce on our corn. We're gonna get both sides, believe that. We don't need no one side of barbecue. One side of barbecue. 
I'm just patting it on now. And when you're making a barbecue sauce, make make a lot. Especially if you're gonna you're gonna be using it on like multiple dishes that you're cooking. And see, we already seasoned it earlier with our hey, salt and our pepper. Mom, hmm? I close real quick. Can you go well? Both real quick. Well, who? Uh, me, DJ, and Kevin. I don't care. Oh. Location? I yelled out your location, y'all, because I have him on the tracking device. So on my iPhone, I, I love his location so I know where he at. All three of my boys, and they grown. Okay, then we're just gonna um, put some um, Now we're going to cover this corn. Then I'm going to check on it. See, I'm going to have to make some more, but it's all good. Then we're going to check on it and um, cook it uncovered. Okay, so I'm going to take my chicken stock. And I'm going to add a little bit more chicken stock because I'm going to let the steam cook that. And I'm going to my last bottle of chicken stock. God darn it. So I'm just going to have to add some oil in it. Got some more right here. Okay, so this is gonna be it, you ladies and gentlemen, until everything gets um done. Just right now, now I'm gonna put this in the oven. Then I'm gonna come back and check it. And we're gonna, and if it's where it needs to be. We're gonna remove this and let it finish cooking without the lemon foil. So I'll be checking in you guys as I'm doing it, okay? So I'm sticking this on the top right. Cause I don't have no room on the bottom right. All right, see you guys. So I'll see you guys back here in a few. Hey you guys, I'm back and dinner is done. Look how good that look. Look how good. Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. See? You can tell it's glazy. And it's saucy. Yes. It's glazy and it's saucy. Look how it's shiny. Cinnamon and fireball whiskey drumsticks. 
Oh, we have our barbecue wings and our baked beans. So I'm getting ready to fix my husband plate. I'm gonna get him a wing. I'm gonna get him a drumstick. Cause he, I mean, I'm gonna just gonna get him one because he don't like drumsticks. Oh. Dang, I, I, it's so slippery. Okay. So I'm gonna fix my plate. And I'm gonna put my wing, a nice drumstick on him. Mm hmm. You guys look down there at that plate. Babe! So, you guys. I hope you like this recipe. Fireball and cinnamon barbecue drumsticks. Now, these was going to be wings, but when I looked in my deep freezer, I didn't have any wings. So, I said, well, I use what I got. I wasn't going to go to the store and get no wings just because I didn't have any for this recipe. Because you can do it, frankly, you can do it with any kind of meat. Whether it's um, drumsticks, wings, thighs, whatever kind of part of the chicken that you like, that's what you can do this recipe with. So these are, once again, Fireball and Cinnamon Barbecue Drumsticks. I hope you guys like this recipe. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. Once again, to my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and welcome to Joanne's YouTube family. And to those of you that's watching this channel for the first time, go ahead and take the time to subscribe and be sure to tap that notification bell so every time I upload a recipe, you want to be notified. You don't want to miss out on none of these good videos. So, we're going to get us a little taste test. I already know it's good. I already know. I already know. Y'all know it's good. It look good, don't it? Cover my food back up. Other two children come and eat. Oh, let me send my prayers. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Barbecue corn on the car. Mm. You grab them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look how that chicken down there. I saw some y'all. It. That's the way I like it. All right, you guys, I'm out. I'm about to get eat, sit down, and enjoy my meal. So, thank you all for watching. Have a rest of um, have a good evening. Until the next video, I will see you guys later. I love you guys. Stay safe. See you later. And happy eating. <laughs>